everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I've got some empties for you. This is my empties for the month of August. Wow, it is September already. This year has flown by. It's been insane and I feel a little weird in front of the camera because it's been more than a week since I've been in front of the camera because even though my videos kept going up, I was actually on a mini vacation out of state and well, this is my first video since I've been back. Wow, it is a lot crazy crazy year so these are my empties for August I have a bunch of them for you it actually looks like a lot more in there because there are some like bigger products but you know it's all got to get used up and I want some space back so I'm happy to be getting some big products used up I am just going to start pulling some stuff out looks like the stuff on the very top is hair care so we're going to go with that the first thing that I finished up is the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Yes, I did use this on my hair. I do sometimes use it on my makeup brushes too. So, you know, double duty. And I'm kind of sad that it's gone because this is my last one. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it smells good. It's nice and gentle for this time of year when I get all sweaty, especially if I'm out doing things in the hot sun, gardening, playing, <laughs> walking the dog, doesn't matter. If you have a lot of hair like me, you get sweaty like on your scalp. But I have like dry hair, so I have to wash a little bit more frequently than normal. So a nice gentle shampoo is good. So I do have a couple of gentle shampoos that I can use, but I am going to be sad that that one is gone. All right, next up, this is one of my holy grails. This is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. It's basically a leave-in spray. It's just a lot of words to say that. It smells amazing. It works great for my hair. And when I'm in a hurry, the spray leave-in is just really nice to have. Next is the Rosen Quartz Hair Mask. Loved, love, 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 love. I would totally consider repurchasing this. It is a little spendy. This is $9 and I got, I think, three uses out of it. I think it works as well as the matcha green tea and wild apple blossom butter mask. Um, it works just as well, but this is $8.99 and this is $9. So I can use this for months and I got three uses out of this. So while I think it's really good like for the same price, I'm going to go for the one that I can get months of use out of as opposed to three. That's just me. I'm crazy like that, I guess. I don't know. All right, let me see if I have any other hair stuff in here. <laughs> You can tell my hair is growing back, all the stuff that fell out, because I'm starting to snap uh, hair ties again. I just happened to throw that in there. I don't know that I have any other hair care in here. I do have some body care and skin care and a little bit of makeup. I have um, like a nail file, just a random, this thing, can you tell how much I use it? Yeah, that thing is done and dusted. Let's get some body care out of here. I have three of these um, sample soaps and some dog hair because my basket was on the floor. Um, these are the Marietta Face and Body Bars. Um, yeah, I got those from like going on vacation and staying at hotels and stuff like that. They always give you those, those soaps and stuff. This is the... Paul Mitchell Lemon Sage Energizing Body Lotion it smells so good. And I have looked to see if I could get it online because it just smells really, really good. And I can't find it anywhere. I'm kind of sad. I like that one. This one is divine. This is the Bath & Body Works Joy Sugar Snickerdoodle Moisturizing Body Wash. I have a hard time saying that, so I have to say it really slow. It smells good enough to drink. Like, it smells like some of those fancy like coffee concoctions that you can get. I don't drink that. I'm a boring coffee drinker. It's like coffee with just some heavy cream. That's as exciting as I get. But this smells like it should be one of those frou-frou kind of coffee drinks. Like it smells so good. So very good. I've got some skincare in here and then I've got three makeup items. So it's not a ton of stuff, but yeah, no, I'm happy to have anything done. This one, this one is covered in oil and dog hair. This is the Dermalogic Pre-Cleanse. I absolutely love this stuff. The packaging leaves a little bit to be desired because it's a pump, which is nice, but some does come up through here, so the bottle does get messy, which is why I have oil and dog hair stuck to my hands. But the product itself is amazing. I like this almost as much, well, I mean, it's different, but like the... Um, pharmacy green clean it, it works that well for me anyway 
and I like I love it like the Eve Lom cleansing balms and stuff like that I love those but I love this just as much so if you prefer an oil over a balm give it a try it's really really good all right more skin care another Dermalogica this is just a foil sample of the daily microfoliant love the stuff I took that on my travels I got I think three uses out of that little foil sample yeah it was nice we've got what is this I more dog hair it's just everywhere so what happens when you have two German shedders? And yes, I did say shedder because that's what they do. The Island Miracles Tea Tree Oil. It's pure tea tree oil. I love it. I add this into my night creams and stuff like that when I put my do my night skincare. It just keeps my skin from breaking out and you know, you know, girls, when you're feeling a little hormonal and you like start to feel a little sensitive spot on on your face somewhere, put a couple drops in your moisturizer at night. Just once a day it just it kind of just makes it all go away I don't know how it works it does though all right this is the Strivectin tighten and lift peptide peptide tightening and brightening face serum I did really like it it does have the consistency of a light moisturizer which I like it worked well under makeup and stuff like that yep I liked it Strivectin just does a good product and then the Super Goop Resetting Refreshing Mist. It's got an SPF of 40. I really enjoyed this one. I When when I got this for review, I noticed other people's reviews. Because I, I like to see what other people are saying. I, I give my review first before I look what other people are saying. I actually enjoyed it. But a lot of people hated it because it made their skin, I guess, they felt greasy afterwards. But a lot of them were using it as a setting spray over top their makeup which I would never do I would absolutely never do that you know I don't even like setting sprays <laughs> like actual marketed as setting sprays for over top my makeup they don't work for me so this is for me was a first step because SPF 40 it's got a cooling um, sensation to it It was just really lovely it might made my felt face feel kind of silky just really nice put this on then did all of my other skincare primer makeup and everything and it worked lovely under my makeup I I would never use it over my makeup but it really was a very nice product so I guess that's very unpopular opinion because you know if you look on a lot of the reviews it you know it didn't get a lot of great reviews but I liked it maybe I'm just weird all right I have some very dog hair covered makeup to show you this is my life and vacuum today I don't know what happened um, this is the collab shape and shade ultra fine brow pencil I really like this I'm actually working on a second one now it is super super thin I can't even roll it up anymore but it is like total micro I enjoy it I like the little spoolie on the end but they I go through them so fast this was cheap this thing was only a few bucks it was nice but I can't do a micro pencil anymore. I probably won't rebuy it, not because it's not a nice product, but because my brows went through the 90s and I need a lot more product to help this out up here. And I just, that, that goes too quick. It just goes too quick. And let's see, I have two more products here. I have the Nika K Shimmer Eyeliner in green. I like this color. For a cool green, it's not bad. The wand, brush, whatever kind of sucks. I can get a little bit out on it, but not enough to like really do my eyeliner. So it was just getting to that point where I would have to dip in it like three or four times just to do one eye and it was crazy. But let me show you the wand. That's a piece of plastic. That is not an actual brush. It's kind of bizarre how that works. I did like the actual eyeliner itself, but you know, I'm always glad to have an eyeliner done. And I have a lip gloss. I don't know what color it is. I don't know what, you know, I know what the make is, but not the model. This is from Essence. It is a lip gloss that was sent to me from a friend in Germany quite a while back. And I did enjoy it. The stopper came out, but I am glad to have another lip gloss done. Because we all know, if we watch the inventory video, I have way, way too many lip glosses. So I only finished 18 things this month. I'm okay with that. I feel like as long as I'm getting stuff done, it is, 18 is fine. I'm good with it. I do not have a monetary goal this year. I'm just trying to, you know, use things up, hit the pans and stuff like that. I have finished $1,422.98. 90, 
so far this year. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with it because, like I said, I don't have a goal. And as long as I'm getting stuff used up, I'm going to track it no matter what. Whether I have a goal or not, I still track. But I feel like I'm doing all right. So, oh, I didn't give you the total for the actual month. Duh, Jessica, pay attention. $242.26. It is my best month so far this year, which is weird because I felt like I didn't finish much. I did have some very expensive products like the Super Goop and the Pre-Cleanse isn't horrible, but the Strivectin is expensive. So I finished some really expensive stuff and some really cheap stuff. Go figure. Story of my life. So that is everything for this update. I'm going to have my rehab coming up soon. Look out for that because that's that's going to be very interesting. And um, my 200 pans, all that stuff. And I got some friend mail, which I will be, I will be showing you that as well. That has jacked up my rehab. But we'll get into that in another video. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.